Hey, my lady, how y'all doing today? I'm here to do a drink review. Another drink review I'm not doing on Wednesday, but I'll do it now. Uh, Tropa Rocka, Diet Snapple Tropa Rocka. And this was Brett Michaels Blend Tea. If you remember the Celebrity Apprentice, from this was from a long time ago. He was going up against Holly Robinson Pete, and they both were supposed to design a type of Snapple. And he went for diet because he's a type 1 diabetic. And it says, made from best stuff on earth, made from green and black tea uh, leaves. And also, this is seasoned with uh, cinnamon, of all things. And it says, Brett Michaels, Tropa Rock is taste bud tested and rocker approved. The Diet Snapple was inspired by singer Brett Michaels, a lifelong type 1 diabetic who uh, allowed us, who showed us that being a diabetic doesn't mean you have to sacrifice having a good time. Just like Diet Snapple sacrifice doesn't sacrifice great taste. So thanks, Brett, for inspiring this rock and new flavor and sharing your story with the world. A little picture right here. And the one thing about Brett Michaels, he's a singer from Poison. And if you saw my last video about my friend who passed away, Marshall Hay, he was a, he liked Poison a lot. And I forgot to mention a couple things on that video. Uh, when we were talking about the k -Tel compilation, the song Stay Awake All Night, I remember we were talking on the bus. And he said he remembered one night where he was... Uh, that's a song by Krogus who became real popular by doing the song Ballroom Blitz. And he was talking about being up all night with the flu and throwing up and stuff like that. And he was in the song Stay Awake All Night was kept playing in his head. We both had a little laugh about that. And also in high school, uh, he hooked up with the teacher, uh, Miss Bevavina, who was in charge of the newspaper. And he got a little writing gig uh, called Metal Report. I think it was called Metal Report where he did like reviews on like metal albums from like bands and stuff like that back in their 80s during high school but i've known him since second grade and it was a big loss i just thought i'd mention that too and uh brett michaels actually won the competition right there on diet snap but that was a long time ago i'm so glad they're still putting this out i bet you uh i have a friend named joyce uh joyce it was joyce journeys and also joy in 97 uh 1968 and she's going for weight loss surgery. I bet she'd love this stuff right here. Diet Snapple Tropa Rocka. And I got this at Walmart in a big case. Oh, it was six bottles for uh for four ninety eight, which ain't too bad. I usually stick with uh Swiss Diet Decaf Lemon Flavor because it's a little cheaper at a gallon for two ninety eight. But I wanted to do this. I never did a review on this, so I wanted to do a review on this. Diet Snapple. Drop a rocket. Let's try it out. It has a little snap top right there. See, you hear that? Give it a shot. Mm. A very fruity, fruity blend. You know, it's got pears, mangoes, and it's seasoned with cinnamon. That's what gives it a little bit of sweetness. I bet, I mean, this is really delicious. I forgot to go to nutritional facts. I'll do it now. Uh, Serving size, one bottle of calories, 10. It's not no calories. It's 10 calories. It's still pretty good. 20 milligrams sodium, and that's about it. And uh, it's delicious. I mean, this is highly good. I give this a 10 out of 10 for the Tropa Rocka. It's so nice that they're uh, still selling this stuff. Because I tried the Holly Robinson Pete. She did like a regular one with flavor. I mean, a long time ago. And it was all right, but I like this. This far surpasses this. And he actually won that year on Celebrity Apprentice. So, uh, 10 out of 10 for Brett, uh, Brett Michaels, Bl Brett's a Blend Tea, uh, Tropa Rocka, Diet Snapple. Excellent, 10 out of 10. It's very good. I bet you, like I said, I bet you Joyce would really like it. And see, like, the S shape right there. Some, like, snap on the glass bottle. Well, that's that review. And then, I also wanted to bring a movie review into it. I saw, uh, Walking Tall Part 2. Hey, back in 74, 75, I believe, on Netflix. And I was checking, they don't have any other Walking Tall movies, which is a shame, because I had a big history of Walking Tall when I was a kid. Because I was a big fan of Walking Tall, especially the TV show. I remember watching that. Just like, uh, I was a big fan of The Paper Chase. And I just saw uh, the, the movie The Paper Chase a year or so ago on uh, Retroplex, maybe, or Encore Retroplex, or something like that. And, uh... There was a, a whole bunch of Walking Tall movies. Uh, but I remember seeing them all on TV. They're the first time I've seen Walking Tall Part 2 uncut. And it had some swearing and it showed boobs a little bit. For a PG-rated movie, they, they used to get a lot away with a lot of PG-rated stuff. 
And I saw a walk the original walk tell with Joe Don Baker a few years back on Encore. That was a really powerful movie. That was R rated. And that really got me angry and stuff like that. Because I mean, you get behind a guy and he gets trapped online and you get really angry. And that's a really powerful movie. This one is not nearly as powerful, but I mean, it's, it's more like the TV show. My dad said it's kind of lame, but I liked it. It's still entertaining. I give the original Wag Tall with uh, Joe Don Baker a 10 out of 10, but this one, Wag Tall Part 2, gets a, a modest 7 out of 10. It's still very entertaining, but Bo Swenson took over. And he was also in the TV show, because they had, Wag Tall has a big history. Uh,. There's Wong Tall Part 2, then Wong Tall, the final chapter, a few years later. Then there was a TV show. And then if you, if anyone's seen it, in the 80s, there was a public domain. I got it on the public domain on DVD called A Real American Hero with Brian Dennehy playing Buford Pusser. And then I'm sure most of you remember that The Rock, they remade Walking Tall in 2004 uh, with The Rock, Dwayne The Rock Johnson playing Johnny Knoxville. And they made me mad just a little bit, and then they put humor in it, and then I kind of like, yeah, I wasn't that upset no more. But it was a very entertaining movie, too, and uh, the only thing I didn't like was The Rock didn't keep the sheriff's name. He changed his name to make it sound more cool, but he should have kept it Buford Pusser. That's the, the guy's real name. And the ending of Walk Tall Part 2 kind of leaves you cold, but then they have the final chapter coming up. I can't remember what happens in that. I ain't seen in a while. And they only have Walking Tall Part 2 on Netflix. I don't know. And then after uh, the remake with The Rock, the big budget remake, they made a one I saw at the second hand store. Uh, not the one close to where I live, but the one in Main Street Albion called uh, Walking Tall Lone Justice. Uh, made a few years later with Kevin Sorbo from uh, Hercules in it. And I, I've not seen that one. I don't know if it's any good. I'm not a big Kevin Sorbo fan, but I will watch it if I get a chance because it's Walking Tall, and I'm a big Walking Tall fan. So there you have it. Uh, the review of the Diet Snapple Trop a Rocket, which is excellent. And it really is good. I'm going to shake up a little bit and have another drink. But it's mainly... It's a great tropical blend. I mean, that cinnamon really gives it a good kick. I know Donald Trump said he doesn't like diet. But I think it's far better than the one that Holly Robinson Pete did. But that, that was okay. But uh, Tropical Rock is awesome. 10 out of 10. And then a modest 7 out of 10. For the very entertaining, but not as powerful as the Joe Don Baker original Walking Tall Part 2. And uh, so there you have it. I got a drink review and a movie review. And I hope you really enjoyed it. I really appreciate all my friends and subscribers and all the positive feedback I've been getting. And uh, you're all awesome. I'm up to 481 subs right now. I'm very happy about it. So until next time, buddy, hey, please take care of my legion. Oh, man. Oh, and get ready for in 16 minutes, they're going to have the season the mid-season finale of Total Divas. I'm going to watch that. And then I heard that uh, you're going to have two new people. They're going to have uh, Alicia Fox and Paige, of all people, on the show. So, all right. Until next time, everybody, please take care of my legion.